good morning students as we completed revision of chapter 4 and 5 so today i am going to start with revision of chapter 6 so let's start verbs so first of all what we understand by the term verb so words that express actions positions or state of being are called verbs for example john kicked the ball hard so in this sentence john kicked the ball hard so tell us what john did that is action shown in this sentence then mother has a purple sari so sentence to tell us what mother possesses possession having then anita is an intelligent girl so in this sentence what anita is that tell us to us so it's a state of being shown in this sentence that anita is an intelligent girl so words that express actions positions or state of being are called verbs then after kinds of verbs read the sentences below father reads the statement every morning they laughed at the poor lamb man he is reading rather loudly he laughed to his heart's content so first sentence father reads the statement every morning what does father read the statement so we get the answer from the question we ask then in two they laughed at the poor lamb men so first of all lamb that means walking with difficulty because of an injury or illness affecting the leg or foot so they laughed at the poor lamb men in this question in this sentence we ask the question if what did they laugh at then we get the answer the poor lamb men so when we get answers to the question what or whom with the verbs they are the objects of the verbs such verbs that require objects to complete sense are called transitive verbs such verbs that requires object there is a requirement of an object to make complete sense are called transitive verb now if we talking about sentence 3 he is reading rather loudly and sentence 4 he laughed to his heart's content so in both of these two sentences what is he reading we are not getting any answer what did he laugh at no answer so such verbs that require no objects and make complete sense by themselves are called intransitive verbs so in intransitive verbs there is a no requirement of an objects and to make complete sense by themselves they make complete sense by themselves are called intransitive verb so transitive verb and intransitive verb what is the difference between both of them is that that verbs that require objects to make complete sense are called transitive verb and verbs that require no objects and make complete sense by themselves are called intransitive verb 
Now read the following sentences to see the difference between transitive verb and intransitive verb. So first of all, I am going to read all the transitive the sentences. He runs a small shop. She laughs at poor beggars. They read the Bible every day. The sun gives a slight. He speaks English fluently. I cannot write Hindi well. We need new dresses for the party. So, in all the sentences, if we ask question, then we get the answer. So, such verbs that require objects to make complete sense are called transitive verbs. Now, in transitive, he runs fast. She laughs loudly. They read in the morning. He who gives... Also receives, he speaks politely, she writes neatly, we need not go there. So, in such verbs that require no objects and make complete sense by themselves are called intransitive verb. Now, let's have a look on exercise portion of this chapter. Exercise A. Pick out the verbs in the following sentences and indicate in each case if the verb is transitive or intransitive. So, we have to find it out the verbs from the following sentences and then after we have to indicate in each case if the verb is transitive or intransitive. 1. She bought a leather bag, bought Transitive verb 2. They arrived early, arrived in transitive verb 3. I saw a bird's nest, saw transitive verb 4. The woman cried bitterly, cried in transitive verb 5. The baby slips peacefully, slips in transitive verb 6. I will sell my bike. Sell. Transitive verb. 7. We eat breakfast in the morning. Eat. Transitive verb. 8. The car stopped suddenly. Stopped. Intransitive verb. Now, exercise B. The verbs... In the following sentences are used transitively. Underline each of them and point out the object of the verb. So, verb used in the following sentences are used as a transitively. Now, we have to underline each of them and point out the object of the verb. So, one the postman brings letters, brings letters, objects of the verb. When we write objects of the verb, then we have to write down separately, brings, then letters, both object of the verb. Then two, she makes delicious fish curry, so makes and delicious fish curry, objects of the verb. 3. The driver stopped the car, stopped and the car, objects of the verb. 4. My father carried the luggage, so carried and the luggage, object of the verb. 5. The girl hurt her leg, hurt and her leg, object of the verbs. 6. I sent a message to my friend. Sent and a message, object of the verb. 7. He gave some money to the poor man. Gave some money, object of the verb. 8. She sang a beautiful song. So, sang and beautiful song, object of the verb. 
Then after exercise C, write two sentences which each of the following verbs, one transitively and the other intransitively. So now in this exercise C, we have to write down two sentences for each of the following verbs, one transitively and the other intransitively. So one, write, Anne is writing a letter, Anne writes neatly. Then to read, I read, uh, read the times this morning, try to read slowly. Three, ran. So first sentence, I ran for the ball. And second sentence, Nathan ran very fast. Then four, answered. So Betty answered the questions. Nosh was slow in answering. Five, ate. So first sentence, I ate an apple yesterday. Second sentence, father ate hurriedly today. Six, drawing. Rita was drawing a bird. Megha is drawing beautifully. So, in exercise C, we have to write down for each two, two sentences, one transitively and one intransitively. So, revision of this chapter is completed. It's complete. So, now... In this period, up to this much, further we will continue in the next video. Till then, take care of yourself. Revise once again this chapter. Read out. Stay at your home. Stay safe. We will meet in the next video. Till then, take care of yourself. Thank you. Goodbye.